Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Let's go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Okay. So anytime I drop a new banger, a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. Prestissimo. I want to say thanks. I want to give a big shout out to each and every one of you for supporting the channel. Thanks, thanks, thanks once again and again and again and again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all in various different zones around the globe. Now let's get straight with right here without hesitation. So, Oscar de la Oyer has called for a ceasefire. Hells His Excellency Turkey Alashik, the savior of boxing. I say the savior of boxing and also the face of boxing right now. Listen, at the end of this year, like, he needs to be given his accolade and awarded um, a badge of honor and also i say this because as a boxing fan you do know how dirty boxing is boxing politics is the most dirtiest in the entire sporting hemisphere let's keep it right here in boxing we have different governing borders those governing borders have different responsibilities they have different paymasters. They have different uh, interests. Everybody is just competing against each other instead of working with each other. So even promoters, those are basically the worst. It's been a chaotic scene since the beginning emergence of the sport. Um, in the 80s, 70s, probably worse i don't know and now oscar Oya, we know what he said we can't forget it when he said that nobody i mean nobody is coming to my country or city and think they can take over boxing i am a fighter first and i will fight hard for what i love the most and that's boxing biba that was oscar Oya few days ago and just yesterday and that was our direct basically uh this to his excellency turkey alashik the savior of boxing now you might say yeah it might be it might be uh, uh you know it might be that message was probably to Eddie here no 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 we know Eddie and Oscar lawyer They've worked together in the past. They've also bumped heads. But Oscar de la Hoya doesn't see Eddie Hearn as a threat. Facts. He didn't see Eddie Hearn as a threat because Oscar de la Hoya is well established. Golden Bramo Promotions is well is, an, is a well established promotional company in the United States of America. So he didn't he never saw Eddie Hearn as a threat, basically. But with his excellency coming in, he was he felt threatened. And this was his first shot. I think when he threw his first shot at his excellency and to the kingdom, when he said that why are fights why why are fights going over there? Fights needs to be here, not there. You know, basically throwing shades. And that was the beginning of all this um you know, uh, basically, like, yeah, like there's, there's, there's saltiness and stuff like that. We know Oscar the Lawyer is very bipolar. That guy is very unstable. No doubt, he's a boxing legend. You can't take that away from him. He's a boxing legend, through and through. A boxing man, a fighting man. But he's very bipolar, bro. It reminds me of Tyson Fury. Says one thing today does another tomorrow so yes also the oil 
jumping on the DM of East SLSE Turkey and Ashik. And this was basically yesterday. And Oscar basically calling for a ceasefire after seeing what he said. He said, yeah, I quote, your SLSE as a legend in boxing and a humble human being. I thank you for putting the terrific card in Los Angeles. I appreciate you and respect you. Now, what this tells me is that Oscar Loya wants to be the face of His Excellency, the mouthpiece of His Excellency in the States. Because let's keep it right here. The last event, the press conference of Crawford the Madrimov, um, was basically uh, ar arranged and put together by Eddie Hearn and Tim Matrum, UFC, USA. Now, Oscar has one fighter on that card which is Virgil Ortiz but Virgil Ortiz need to get past his uh, opponent now the thing is that Oscar sees himself as more established promoter in the US than Eddie Hearn facts more, of course he's more established than Eddie Hearn in, in the US as a promoter no doubt about that however Eddie Hearn thinks global why Oscar the Oya thinks America only, USA or Mexico, but mainly USA because that's where, you know, basically the old, the the real buyers of pay per views, you know, the the Mexicanos, uh, Mexican Amer Mexican Americans, that's where they 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 they're like basically they they buy more pay per view in, in Amer Mexican Americans buy more pay per view than almost any demographic, uh, any other demographic in the US. You know, they are very dedicated to their fighters. They support them. I like that, bro. You know, I really like, I really admire that of Mexicans. They tend to support their fighters a lot. You know, they don't share a with their support. If you're good, you're a fighting man, and you put everything on the line, they will support you. But if you're a rubbish fighter, they don't like runners. You know, that's why I think a lot, they see a lot of the... Like they see Mayweather, for example, as a runner, basically, because Mayweather is a is a smart boxer, like he's a boxing maestro, basically. Boxing is to eat and not get hit, but Mexicans they love war. They love war. It's facts. Now, so this is Oscar La Oyo basically hailing the His Excellency and calling for a truce, calling for a ceasefire. But you can't really call for a ceasefire for someone that doesn't really need you. You know what I mean? Like, against someone that doesn't really need, like, Oscar the Lawyer has nothing over his excellency. Like, there's nothing, bro. Is it influence? Is it money? Is it exposure? Is it, I mean, even followership. I mean, come on. His excellency has more followership on social media than Oscar the Lawyer. And his excellency is uh, not a not a not a promote is a is a is a show promoter is a, a poet is a movie producer is a club owner he's a he's a huge boxing fan he vent he he has you know he has his hands in di different various various like businesses let's keep it right here like I understand Oscar the Oya's point though because. It's not really easy to see someone from the outside come in and take over, put up a stack card like this. You know what I mean? Like, this card is so stacked to the point where you kind of imagine the why Oscar Lawyer feels the way he feels. Look at it right here, bro. Crawford Madrimov. This is a banger of a fight. He's a cruise. Jose Valenzuela against Jose Valenzuela. Team Zhu against Virgil Ortiz, who has to win his fight, upcoming fight. And Virginio against Jeremy Miller. This is a fight that I probably would never have seen, would never see. If not for his excellency. David Morel against Radvo J. Kalashic. And risk and the Cruz against Antonio Moran. And more to come. What does this tell you right now? For a first for a first timer, 
this is the strongest card ever put on in the US for the past in the past 10 years basically let's keep it right here there is no other card that is that is that is more stacked than this and this is just the beginning but do you know how this this do you know how this fights got made they got made by his excellency calling the fighters and calling their representatives listen i need this fighter on, on this card what does it take to put it to get him on this card there is no boxing politics it doesn't have any allegiance to any promoter or any no 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 he doesn't want any allegiance to any promoter or any governing body he said the fighters must fight each other and also he's also introduced something back to the sport where a loss doesn't really mean much because floyd mayweather really messed up the the that mindset of mindset, mindset of the young fighters to say you have to be undefeated to be appreciated and also boxing fans bought into it because now if you lose as a fighter you lose the undefeated record any for example lost lost and all of a sudden people are saying it's not good anymore any is still a masterful boxer losing doesn't mean you're not good losing happens to everybody um on apart from maybe a guy like Flamengo, uh, Joe Kazagi, and uh, the rest. Well, losing is, is part of a, is part of is part of life. You lose people you love. You lose uh, money, maybe investment. You lose things, man. It just happens. It doesn't have to be that, you know, that bad. But you know, boxing fans are very fickle. You know. Sometimes boxing fans are the best and also the worst. You give them what they want, some will say it's not enough. It's just what it is. But this is the beginning for His Excellency in the US. He's not a show, he's not a, a boxing promoter. He's a savior of boxing. You know what I mean? In, in fact, I remember when he bought Amerio, the a club in um in the Spanish league. La Liga now because they were like in relegation they were relegated before he brought them back you know uh, when he bought that club or wanted to buy the club a lot of uh, like the Sp Spaniards you know the Araquis we're not we're against it you have to understand unless you've lived in Spain before you never you never really understand this Spanish society is very conservative and very anti or the demographic not I would say racist, but very anti certain demographic. You have to understand the history of um, southern part of Spain. You know, the Moors, Los Moros, you know, ruling that place for 600 years, bro. Basically, like the culture, you know, the influence is there. But anyway, that's, 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 a, that's a topic for, for history. Now, what I'm saying is that you business is business. You break through a lot of barriers. Even when the PGA Tour was like, you know, you know, acting up when the Saudi wanted to get in, they kept acting up. Well, they bought the entire, they, they bought a, bro, they, bro, they bought the entire spot. So who is Oscar Loya? Who is Oscar Loya, basically? Who is he? He's a nobody, bruv. He's a boxing legend. Yeah, I respect him for that. But in, after that, man, you don't have no power, bruv. You don't. <laughs> it's just facts. Like I said, you know, we, we, we boxing fans, we deserve good fights. Listen, I'm tired of always like, um, waiting just towards the main event. I always wait to watch many, mostly main events. You watch boxing for main events nowadays, not for undercard. But since the emergence of His Excellency, basically, we watch boxing for the whole card. And you pay it, and you buy the pay per view, and you say, yeah, this was worth my money. That is good. Not trying to stream it all the time and looking for, you know doesn't really make sense people stream because you know like they say okay this is the only one fight there so i'm not gonna like buy the, the card for 
but when you have a good card then you you will you'll be tempted to 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 to, to buy it, which is good which helps the spot of boxing facts so i'm glad that Austin lawyer back down because he asked there was no he had no choice <clears throat> you have to back down and work together work with the people you don't like and the internet of matrum and from corner of queensbury they never liked each, they don't they never talked for to each other for 14 years bro they never spoke a word to each other they despised each other but his excellency brought them back brought them together and said listen why all this fight when you can make great fights now we have 5v5 now what does that tell you is that tells you that if people work together yes money is a huge part of it but also you need people with the ambition the dedication to get these things done anybody can just throw money at things but money doesn't buy uh, reputation money doesn't buy money doesn't buy real influence because there are places Turkey Lashik will step foot in Oscar the lawyer wouldn't, wouldn't be able to step foot in that place it's just facts you know they're not the same people one is a boxing legend now a promoter great promoter Bob been stalling fights a little bit you saw fight a lot you know the other the other is 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 a is a is a, is a, is a boxing fan an hardcore boxing fan that want to see the sport grow and wipe out all this pettiness and uh, boxing politics and that is good for the sport of boxing facts If you're still below guys, like the video, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you for supporting the channel. God bless you all. And uh, catch you on the next one.